Whoa, did you see me? It warped past that. Okay, that's broken. That is not how the game should be. I shouldn't be able to warp past that. That that was, okay, see that? That's not Dr. Mario. Ugh, I don't know why I'm fighting it though. I mean, it's the game, right? What's up my Pungios, Andy with All Games Played, excited to share with you guys kind of a critique of the newly released Dr. Mario World game on iOS and on Android. That's right, on your iPhone you can play Dr. Mario World. But unfortunately this is not Dr. Mario. If you're here, a longtime player of Dr. Mario, I'm sorry you're going to be a little disappointed. But I wanted to share with you guys the best and worst of this game because, you know, it is pretty fun, but there are a lot of dumb gimmicks as well as microtransactions that might spoil the fun for you. So as you can see, there's definitely a really cool overworld that's very reminiscent of the, you know, the Mario games with tons, tons of content here. I mean, I can scroll through and I've got level after level you know, to unlock. So there's there's plenty of game to play. It seems like there's, you know, at least 100 levels uh, of the single player that you can play. The first 20, of course, is the tutorial, and I won't show you how to play uh, necessarily because, you know, you can do it yourself. It's pretty fun, and it's free. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the worst things and some of the best things of this game. First and foremost is the top left. You've got a stamina bar. This is notorious mobile gaming. I hate it. I hate stamina bars. It, it, it restricts the amount of of play you can play in a session because I just want to binge I want to play until I want to play not until you tell me to play and that's what's so frustrating about these hearts is that you've got a finite amount um, and that that's it so that means if you don't pass a level you lose your heart every level you go into costs a heart but the good thing is if you pass a, a, a level I'm sh I, I'm pretty sure with three stars you get a heart and so there is some consolation there um, and it's not as punishing but the second thing I want to share with you guys is the fact that there is premium currency. It drives me nuts. I mean, look at it. The, the diamonds. You can buy hearts already. And it's through this stupid currency. As you can see here, they're advertising to you. There's a special pack that you can get that gives you in-game items as well as your first 160 of these dumb... These dumb... I don't know what they're called. Diamonds? Ugh. There's, there's not diamonds in Mario. Why are we... Ugh. Anyway, and then there's a second in-game currency, which is coins, which you gather by playing the game, by getting stars, you know, three stars per stage. And uh, that's actually been a pretty fun aspect of this game, is getting three stars, as you can see the tutorial, and then some, I've gotten three stars. Uh, the next thing about it is um, the characters. So there's multiple characters, there isn't just a Mario, and then you save the, the princess, it's basically everyone is together, uh, in the game fighting these viruses including Peach including Bowser and including Mario so I haven't unlocked them yet but during the, the tutorial you could be Bowser Mario or Peach and I chose Peach because I'm a girl right guys <laughs> uh, and then there's assistants so there's um, bad guys there's good guys that are assistants that help you throughout the game in game which is pretty exciting so that, that that's another fun part about this game is that you're you're playing to unlock um, and then with that being said um, you can go in in here and you can spend your coins to get a character. So as you can see, there's Toad, and I can buy him for 4,000 coins. That's a lot, man. That's like 25 levels worth and then some. I've gotten two of these question mark boxes, which gave me coins. I got my uh, early bird, like, signing up bonus for 500 coins, and even then I barely got enough to, to, to buy a new character. And so that A is pretty frustrating. Um, and that I'm annoyed about. The next thing here is friends. Uh, this is a cool aspect of the game. You can connect via your Nintendo ID or your, you know, your Switch ID or whatever, your Nintendo network, and you can add your friends who are on your Switch. So I've sent friend requests to all of these people. These are my friends. Um, we're going to send friend requests to them, and hopefully, you know, by the next day or so, they will add me. Um, these are people that have signed up and joined the game, and I'm going to send them requests so that um, you know I can play with them. Uh, there's two reasons why you want friends. One is getting more hearts. So if you go like this, uh, if you go over here to your heart, you can say, uh, ask for hearts. And your friend list by going to your, I guess, Facebook friends um, will send you hearts. But for some reason, it's not connected to your Nintendo. So I don't know why that's the thing. 
And then the th second thing you can do with your friends is you can you can do verses. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you then how to do verses. I've never done a verses yet, so I don't know what this is all about. I've never done it before. Okay, so you battle by sending viruses out to your opponents, but watch out, they can send viruses your way too. Uh, if the stage is filled with enough viruses, then then they will cross the bottom and lose the match. Okay. All right. So uh, my attack meter. Uh, I already know how to play this game. Why are you sh showing me the tutorial? Skip. Okay. All right. So let's just let's do our first verses. We're just gonna find a random person. Yay, Mario! Peach versus Mario. Okay. Interesting. Um, we're gonna go like that. And then we're gonna go like this. Oh, boom! And this is another aspect of the game that bothers me. There's, uh, there's definitely some cheater. There's some cheater moves that you can do. At least it, it's not, it's not the same game as is on the other, on the, on the, on the NES. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I made a big mistake. Um, we'll go like this. Oh my goodness, you're sending a bunch my way. I did not mean to do that. That was really bad. Level up, baby. Boom. That wasn't very good. Oh, I'm gonna get eaten away. Oh, no, I'm done for. Crap. There we go. No, what am I doing? I'm failing miserably. Oh, crap. I died. <laughs> that was really hard to watch, I bet. Um, well, that that's basically how you play. I, I, I made some big mistakes because the screen's so much smaller in the battle mode. But anyway, that, that's how you do versus, which which is probably the best part of this game, is being able to do versus. Uh, over here in the corner, you've got different stages that you can... Oh, this is the regular stage. So, this is the regular game. It looks like we've got um, quite a few stages here. I mean, check that out. There's there's quite a bit to the uh, to the campaign. So we're gonna hit over here, and this is gonna send us back where we're at, and we're gonna play a couple more stages, and then that'll do. So those are my thoughts. Those are the main gripes uh, of the game, and I'll try to articulate them a little bit better as well. So as as you saw me play, you can manipulate the pill or the capsule after it falls, and that's that's very very different than what I'm used to in this game. Um, when you play the original, the original, not SNES, but the original NES game, um, that very much was not the way that it was. And then you can kind of drag it. See how I can drag it to make it go faster? So this is a prime example right here. So I get the four pills and then I can grab it and I can put it right there. That's, that's so foreign to me. I've never, I've never done that before. See that? How I could just go and drag and drop it? It's just, I, I don't know how I, how much... I like that, but it is what it is, right? Uh, let's go ahead here and let's drop this yellow piece there. Do it again, and we'll move these over. Oh man, see that—that's also another thing. Is I thought they would combine. I guess it doesn't. We'll do that. And see how I can do that? It's so—it's so silly that you're able to do that. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna like that. Drop that. And then drop that. There we go. What? Come on. So I mean, that's the thing. You can, you can basically manipulate the whole board, and it goes super slow down. So I, I mean, I don't know how I I don't know how I feel about that. It is what it is. It looks like we got one heart back after we completed that. So maybe that's that's the way that they they reward you is as you play more of the the campaign. Each level you beat, you get a heart back, which I don't know how, how I feel about. I don't know how much I feel about that. 
All right, let's keep going and stop complaining. There's quite a few viruses, and we're here to destroy them all. Like that. See, I mean, it's like, it's so silly that I can do that. I can manipulate it like that. No, I did not mean to do that. Oh, fiddlesticks. Ew, that was gross. That was a waste. A complete, utter waste. That's fine, I can do that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, we still did it, but I used, I used like one or two different capsules that I shouldn't have. Ugh, ugh, ew. All right, here we are. We got that. Yay, next level. What is this? So, if I beat it in two minutes, two hours, if I beat the stage, then I get I get a, a flying block. That's kind of cool. All right, here we go. We've got some ice characters. Uh, okay, we'll do like that. Mm. The music is fantastic, though, I will admit. What's odd about this is I, I can manipulate all of these things right here. I'll just manipulate them like that. Oh, man, I missed. Little sticks. That's a good little combo right there. Please get that far end. Good, good, good. That's the one I wanted. No! Come on, what the heck? What? That was not cool. I just used like 10 pills right there. You can see on the bottom right hand side that I've got a bunch of these um, items that I can use. Yay, 250 coins. There's a bunch of like in-game items, but I only have one of them, so I'm not gonna waste it. Yay, we passed it. Did I get a heart? Yes, I did get a heart back. So, I mean, that's some consolation right there. These, uh, so there's a couple of things here that keep you wanting to play. A, you've got these like question mark boxes. So that, that makes me want to play for the next two hours. And then obviously the fact that, you know, there's tons of opportunity to get hearts here. So, um, I mean, it's not too negative. It's not too bad, but it is bad nonetheless. There's some issues with those, those um, sprites showing up on the screen. Okay, let's, let's beat this level and then I guess we're gonna be done. Hmm, where am I gonna put you? Like that. Place you in there. We'll put you like that. Drop you. Mm. See that? Isn't that silly? That combo? That's just like, it's like a fake combo. It's not a real combo. It just, it irks me at the core. I mean, it's not a true combo. Okay. No, I didn't mean to put it there. We got seven left. We'll put you there. Put you there. Whoa, did you see me? It warped past that. Okay, that's broken. That is not how the game should be. That That's not how the game should be. 
I shouldn't be able to warp past that. That that was okay. See that? That's not Dr. Mario. Ugh, I don't know why I'm fighting it though. I mean, it's the game, right? Ugh. Whatever. Okay. Thanks, guys, for uh, for playing.